Hello everyone and welcome back to the Artworks YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing some more origami with you and I'm going to be teaching you how to make these origami cranes. Once again you can make them in all different colours and sizes so you can make little colourful ones like this or you could make big ones and even attach them to some string or wire and hang them up if you wanted to. There's so many different varieties that you could make so it really is up to you to get as creative as you'd like with it. Making the crane is pretty straightforward, however, if you haven't done any origami before I'd recommend that you try our jumping frogs tutorial first, because that could give you a bit of an idea about some of the common folds and that kind of thing before you start trying to make a crane. But remember you can completely take your time with it, you can pause the video at any point, go back a step, rewatch, all of those kind of things. It's fine if you don't get it first time, I definitely didn't, so it's fine to go at your own pace. You're only going to need one thing and that is a square piece of paper. If you don't have a square piece of paper you can use a four and then you can chop it into a square which I'll show you how to do in a second. But I will say if you have a ruler to hand or something similar that could be quite helpful to go over the folds and make them nice and sharp. But anyway without further ado let's get into the tutorial. Okay so to start off I'm using a piece of A4 paper. If you've got a square piece of paper you can skip this step but if you are using A4 you will need a pair of scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is take the top left hand side and fold it down to meet the bottom side of the piece of paper so it forms a sort of triangle. This will help us get a perfect square. So I'm just folding along that edge there and then I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting up along that line and that is going to make us have a perfect square of paper. Once we've got our perfect square, we're going to unfold it and then we can start the actual origami. Ironically, the first step is to do the fold we've just done, so I'm taking the top left hand side and folding it down to meet the bottom right. I'm just going over that crease and then I'm going to take my ruler and just go over that crease again and it will make it nice and sharp. Then I'm unfolding the piece of paper. And I'm going to repeat this step but to the other side, so I'm taking the top right hand side and folding it down to the bottom left corner. I'm just using my ruler on there again and then I'm going to unfold the piece of paper. Now what I'm going to do is flip the piece of paper over and I'm going to fold it horizontally. So I'm going to take the left side and fold it to meet the right side. Then I'm going to unfold my piece of paper again and now I'm going to do a fold from top to bottom so I'm taking that top side to meet the bottom. Then I'm unfolding my piece of paper again. Now you can see I've got diagonal crosses and straight crosses. Now I'm just turning the piece of paper onto its side so it looks a bit like a diamond. And you can see I've got four diamonds looking at me now, one at the top, one at the bottom and two on the sides. I'm going to take the two at the sides and I'm going to pinch them together and push the top diamond down so that now I've just got one smaller diamond. So I'll just unfold it all again so you can get another look. So I'm taking the two side diamonds, pushing them together and then folding that top diamond down. Now you can see that I've got some flaps on all different sides and they're joined at the top. You want to have this so that the biggest flaps are open at the bottom side. Okay, now I'm going to take the right hand point of the diamond and I'm going to fold it in to meet the middle line. So I'm just folding it in and then I'm going to make that crease. And then go over it with my ruler. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, so bringing the left point of the diamond into the middle and making that crease. Now I'm going to flip my whole piece of origami over and I'm going to do the exact same fold, so right hand point into the middle and making that crease. And then I'm going to take the left hand side and fold that into the middle and make that crease. Mm -hmm. 
it's really important you do go over these ones with a ruler because these will be really important in a minute. Now I'm taking the top triangle and I'm folding this one down. We're gonna unfold it again in a second, but having this little fold will make your life easier in a minute. Okay, so I've just unfolded that triangle and now I'm actually gonna unfold all of those creases we've just made so that I've got a diamond looking at me again. So I've done that on both sides. Now I'm gonna flip it over once more. And then I'm gonna lift up the bottom flap of the diamond. And now you can see where I've marked these lines, this is where we're gonna make a fold. This bit is quite tricky, so it might take some time, but if you follow what I'm doing on here, it should all come together. And eventually you're gonna get a long, tall looking diamond instead. I'm just smoothing over those creases again now. Then flip the shape over and we're going to do the same thing again. I fold the triangle down first because that'll make the creases easier to fold. Then I'm unfolding that little triangle and I'm going to lift up the bottom flap and then I'm going to fold in those edges so that we get a nice long diamond again. Okay, now that we've got this shape, you can see that there's some little legs at the bottom there. You wanna keep those little legs towards the bottom. Now I'm gonna take this right hand side, the right hand point, and I'm gonna fold it into the middle again, just like I did before. Then I'm gonna do the same thing with the left hand side, folding it into the middle. I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing. So I'm going to take the right hand point and fold it into the middle. And then I'm going to take the left hand point and fold it into the middle. Now you should be looking at this very skinny diamond. We're gonna turn it on its side and then fold it in half. So do you see how I've sort of inverted the folds there? Then I'm just gonna smooth it all down. So you're just folding it in half to the side. Now the shape it should be now is still a bit of a diamond, but you'll have those little prongs at the top instead. Now you should be able to see a faint little line there in the middle where I'm pointing. So we're just gonna fold it up diagonally so we've got a triangle facing the top as well. Don't worry, these folds don't have to be perfect. You can see that mine aren't either. Then I'm gonna flip it round and do the same fold on the other side along that little line. Okay, now we've got a shape like this, we're actually gonna invert it again and fold it in half just like we did before. So there I am just smoothing it down again. Now what we're gonna do is fold down the sides and these are gonna make the little wings almost. So we're just gonna fold them down and do the same on the other side. You wanna do it just below the point on either side. And then if you unfold them a little bit, you can see how they're gonna resemble wings in a minute. Then what I'm gonna do is pull out this little prong here and then I'm just gonna push on the bottom of it and it'll keep it in position there. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So I'm pulling out then just pushing underneath so it stays in place. Then I'm gonna bend over what will become the head of our crane. Then once it's bent, I'm gonna pinch together the side so it makes a little triangle shaped head. And then we're all done. That's our little crane. Well done everyone, I hope you love your new origami cranes and that you can make a few of them, maybe pop them around your desk, around your room, or like I said, you could attach them to some string or some wire and then hang them up from the ceiling maybe. I hope you enjoyed doing a bit of origami and that you found it nice and relaxing and I'll see you next time on the Artworks YouTube channel. Okay everyone, bye!